Lois Wilson, Bill Wilson. Two amazing people, one amazing partnership. Time Magazine named Bill one of the most influential Americans of the 20th century. Lois was also influential, but until now at least, not as well known. They were married in 1918. At first, everything seemed perfect. Chrysler Corporation, 56. Bill got rich working on Wall Street. Then came the Great Depression. The market crashed. So did Bill into alcoholism. For 17 years of Bill Wilson's active alcoholism, Lois stood by her husband. I want you to pledge on this Bible that you'll stop. I just, I have to have a, a drink now and again with the boys. What is it that, that keeps a couple like this together, weathering these wicked storms? I mean. There, there must have been such a, a staggering love there. But, you know, I mean, she must have loved him so much to have, to have stayed. Bill Wilson finally got sober for good in 1934. Not primarily thanks to Lois, but because he experienced a kind of spiritual awakening and found enormous support from fellow recovering alcoholics. And I haven't had a drop to drink since. They'd meet in the Wilson's no, living room and share over coffee and not. cookies. This is how well, Alcoholics Anonymous was born. I don't know how it works, but it's working. But what about the other victims, mostly family members, who'd also been scarred by the disease? It was Lois Wilson's inspiration to invite those other victims into her kitchen disaster? so they could I share, so they could begin they healing. This is how al -Anon was born. Are they going to slip again? Are they gonna Thank goodness there were people like Bill and Lois Wilson who decided to uh, be selfless and, and begin these programs when they did, because uh, where would families be without it? AA and Al-Anon have helped millions and saved countless lives. Lois and Bill's legacy lives on. I, I have friends that are in Al-Anon, as do I have friends who are in AA who have been I literally don't know where they would be if they if it wasn't for that program. Russ Patrick for CBS Toronto. Okay.